<clears throat> well, it looks like we're live. We're live on YouTube for our kids special, our hour of pencil power. Hello, hello. Now, I'm trying something here to see if this is going to help my drawing at all. And um, I don't know. Maybe yeah, it gives you guys a little better distance look at that. So that's cool. Uh, well, I got to lower this down, though. You can draw. So that would be there. Well, we have 13 people on YouTube. Hello. Hello, all you cool artists out there with me on Facebook and on YouTube. <clears throat> Good to see you guys. Um, hello from Colton Beckley. Um, hello, uh, um, Ethan from Houston, Texas. Hello, Amelia. Hello, Colton and Beckham and Abram. Hi, guys. Hello, hello. And hi from Griffin and his dad. Hi, guys. I'm going to uh, let you guys guess in a second what we're going to draw today. I want to say, I just want to say hi to everybody who's joined us. Let's see here. There's Sunny Southern Oregon, Damien and Mom. Hi, Damien and Mom. Hi, guys. Let's see who else is, is joining us today for this hour of pencil power. Uh, let's see, Jean. Hello, uh, Jean and Mary. Hello. Hello from Aspen. Hello, Nina from Aspen. I went through Aspen one time. I drove through. I was 21 years old, and I was driving my little tiny Ford Fiesta, my little teeny tiny car, over to go produce this series in Maryland. It was my, I was nine, 20 years old. I was driving cross country, and I went through Aspen. I went to the Aspen. I, I just visited the Aspen Music Fest. Just happened to go by during that time. But this was, that was a big, my... First time ever driving so far cross country, and it was so exciting. I don't know if any of you remember the Secret City here. Well, today I'm going to let you guys guess what we're going to draw. But let me say hello to a few more, a few more of my friends here. Uh, my YouTube is on. We have 29 people on YouTube. How are you guys doing? If you are on both, you now YouTube people are not able to comment. And I'm sorry about that. But if you're on YouTube and Facebook, can you tell me on Facebook how, how YouTube's reading? YouTube is looks okay. Uh, we have Eliza and Jana from Michigan. Hi, Eliza and, J and Jana. Hope I said your name right. Hi, guys. Uh, what book would... I would definitely start with the 30-day book. This one right here. If you're asking what book to start with, <clears throat> start with the 30 days of drawing for sure for sure that's that's the one to to start with and then uh after that then you do the 30 minutes book for sure right do that one and th this one right here now uh for now today our drawing lessons are going to be coming from this book we're going to use the imagination station book right here and it's, uh, I'm gonna let you kind of guess. Do you think we're gonna draw a ninja squirrel today? Do you think we're gonna draw frogs today? <clears throat> you might hear my son out there. He's, he's carpet shampooing. Do you think we're gonna draw penguins today? Do you think we're gonna draw space kitties today? Nope. Do you think we're gonna draw sharks today? Nope. Do you think we're gonna draw flying pigs today? Nope, or no owl, not owls or fishies or big giant eyeballs. I see you. Nope, we're gonna draw dinosaurs today. Dinosaurs today is dinosaur day. Dinosaur today. Take your finger, take your finger and say Yahoo. So let me. We're gonna start in our first one. We're gonna draw a nest of eggs, and let me make sure I see it. Now this one. Excuse me. We'll start with, and we're going to use the Imagination Station book. I'll show you more about that as we go on. All right, but right now we're all about pencil power. Using your pencil power. Here, that's you right there. That's you. Mama, pencil power. All right, now um, I am ready here to, to go. I'm trying to see here. 
what's the best way to do this? All right, I'm trying a different camera angle. And of course, of course, I don't see my pencil. My son borrowed my pencil. And so I have to go into my bag and get some more pencils. Good thing I have a couple right here in my bag. Here's my supplies. Here's my pencils, my paper blending stompy, and my eraser, and I have my my dusting brush. <coughs> so I'm ready for action. All right, so let's take your pencil. Let's go ahead and start, put a dot in the middle. And we're gonna draw, draw our four squares. And then we're gonna put our cool logo right in the middle. You know, we love to do that. All right, so now I'm gonna start with square number one here. So I'm gonna, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lower the camera down because that, that way that kind of automatically zooms it in. So I'll lower that one in. And then for this one, I'll zoom this one in. The fun, this is so fun, the simulcasting stuff, isn't it? Simulcasting. All right, so square number one. We're gonna start with two dots. We're gonna draw a nest of eggs, okay? To, to draw very light, a foreshortened circle. Foreshortening is one of those 12 Renaissance words. Remember, those words are super important. And you can print up a copy of the 12 Renaissance word chart from draw3d.com. And, uh, oh, it looks like we have my in-room assistant today. Let's see, we do. Hello, Diane Kelly, thank you for volunteering. Thank you. If you want to give them the link to that 12 Renaissance word chart on Draw 3D printables. Now look at this. I'm going to draw this cool nest. It's very light. I'm going to start very light here. YouTube looks better on a bigger screen. Facebook looks pixelated on a large screen, but it's fine on the laptop or smaller. Okay. That's interesting. Katie says YouTube looks better if you're projecting on a big screen. Facebook looks more pixelated. Okay. Well, that's good to know. YouTube is clear if you're projecting on a big screen. Um, the YouTube, it's it's always kind of zoomed in for me uh, so much, so it's kind of tricky, but it's good once we get close. Now, so here's going to be a really cool nest. This is going to be a, uh, I'm going to start here, and watch this. I did I drew very lightly, and then, now inside the nest, I'm going to draw some eggs. I'm going to draw an, uh, an egg here. And dinosaur eggs, okay? Here's a bunch of dinosaur eggs, all right? So here's another egg. Maybe these are like baby pterodactyls. And I'll put another egg, you know, back behind. Look at this. It's a whole nest of eggs. See this? Whole, it's all full of eggs here, right? All full of eggs. Now watch this. I'm going to start. I'm going to put little sticks. I'm going to put little sticks and debris. See this? This is going to be a really interesting texture. I'm gonna put sticks and debris. This is overlapping. That's one of those 12 Renaissance words. Now we could we use these words so often that I have it right here, this this little chart that is so important for us here. Let me see if make sure I have, here it is. Now you can print that up, okay? Get that from the printables at draw3d.com. Um, now I'm gonna draw, look at this. I'm so glad you guys are joining me to draw today. Uh, doing YouTube today. Oh, you're going to do YouTube and, and Facebook. All right, that's fine. These are overlapping. These are overlapping. That's one of those 12 words. If you use those 12 words, someone type in the word, someone type in overlapping. Someone type in that word, overlapping. Type that word in, overlapping. Type that, such an important word. Now I want you to type in a word called texture. We're gonna make this uh, this oh, this this is a uh, like a pterodactyl nest that's made out of twigs and branches, right? Kind of like a bird's nest, but it, we're gonna make it into the dinosaur time. And then now I have an idea. Uh, one of my students did this egg drawing right here, but then they put Mama Dinosaur looking up over here. Look at this student. She did the dinosaur egg, and then she did dinosaurs out of the volcano. Isn't that cool? Look at, the, we have just so many cool uh, uh, drawings I'm going to show you from the different students' work. Here's, this is a, a cute one of the nests. Look at this one. This one, there's mom in the nest. There's the nest of the little eggs hatching. And then look at mama's toe and there's mama's nose. Isn't that great? This was from 
one of my students, Beth, from 2001. Isn't that lovely? All right, so I'm going to draw, let's draw a little mama. I, I like this idea of having mama look in. I'm going to draw that mama, but I'm going to angle mama over on this side. So I'm going to draw, I'm going to have mama's face. She's kind of looking really close here. And then I'm going to have her neck. So here's her neck coming in here. I'm going to draw her a little bit larger. And then I'm going to draw mama's eyes. She's going to be looking at her little babies. Here she is. She's looking down. She, aww. And then I'm going to draw her uh, eyelids. She's all happy. There she is. She's a happy mama looking at her babies. Aw. Someone type in, aw. Someone type in, aw. She's waiting. The babies are going to start hatching. So I'm going to draw mama's little dinosaur teeth. And here's contour. There is overlapping. I'm waiting for someone to type in. Aw. And there we go. Thank you, Nichelle. And uh, now look at this. Now for the mama's eyes, I'm going to draw her near eye. And then this guy's tucked behind her a little bit. Here's contour. I'm going to curve that eyelid up. Contour that helps. So put a little reflection in the eye. You know, reflection is cool. Reflection helps identify the direction that you're put some wrinkles the direction her character's looking. I'm going to draw, here's her dinosaur mama's face. And then now I'm, I'm darkening it in to define it, to kind of focus the camera, right? So there we go. And then here's here's her her neck coming down here. Isn't that cute? Aw. And she's here. And maybe, it, maybe, should I put little hearts right here? She loves her little egg, little babies. Aw. Little babies here, little hearts. All right, now, I'm going to have the sun coming from over there, of course. I always seem to always have the sun on the top right. You can change it around. You just have to be consistent with where you're going to put the shading. All right. Annabelle drawing in Joplin. Hi, guys. Hi. Hey, if you haven't said hi yet and where you're from, please tell me your names, tell me your ages, and tell me what state or country you're drawing from. I'd love to know how old you are and where you're where you're from. Parents, uh, you got to tell me how old you are too. Just joking, you don't have to. Uh, all right, so look, I'm putting shading. I'm going to blend it in a second. Now look, at this is interesting. I'm going to use texture to shade this. I'm going to use, there's Franzo Vasquez. Franzo Fran Vasquez. Glad you joined us, Franzo Franza. I hope I'm I really, really lame with names, so thank you for your, your I'm gonna put a little bit of texture, see this? Just a little bit of texture here, see this? You know what? That when the pterodactyl uh was helping the mama build the nest, look at this, they found they built it with twigs and stuff, but then somehow, look at this, they found an old sock. <laughs> somehow they put they put an old sock. You know how they use different the uh <laughs> And now, how, why is there a sock in prehistoric times? I don't know, but somehow they put an old sock in there. You know how the birds make nests out of whatever they find? Isn't that funny? They put an old sock, and then right here, they somehow they put a a Barbie a Barbie piece of Barbie fashion. They put a Barbie blouse right there. That's crazy. The sock and a Barbie blouse. What else did the dinosaurs build? That's this is crazy. Hey, there's Lucy. She's 12 years old and she lives in New York. Hi. Hello, Lucy. Hello, Olivia from California. Hello, Brandon and Owen and Nathan from Iowa. Ben, 10 from Boston. Look at this. We have everybody. Whoa. Stay on page. Leave this page. Uh, let's go back here. Back. Sorry about that. Let's see. I want to see who, who, where we have. We have Selena from Houston. Hi, guys. And uh, we have Damien, 11, from Oregon. Look at this. Uh, there's, there's you guys. This is so great having you guys all with, uh, having you guys all with us here today. Thank you for joining us. All right. So we have... We have a little sock here. That's funny, huh? And then we have a little, uh, we have a little, a Barbie, 
Barbie shirt there. That's funny. All right, now, sun's over there, so let's go ahead. I'm going to shave it, then I'm going to blend it. Give me a one through ten. How are you guys liking the little mama nest right now for our first drawing, our first drawing of the dinosaur day today? Do you guys love it? Give me a give me a uh, one through ten. Ten being fantastic and one being no. Ah. Give me a one through ten. Hello, North. Hello, Aiden in North Carolina. How are you? Good to see you. So now I'm going to use my stompy, and I want to give the mama tone, and I'm going to kind of. Do, do, tone in the eggs here and then just a little bit of value on the on the nest just a little bit I'm gonna go under the eyes definitely do the eyebrows too so do you guys like this give me a one through ten how do you guys like our little little mama do you like our little mama with her little hearts and then see that the stompies are wonderful. It's kind of like a paintbrush to give it value. Do you love that? Isn't that great? Do you love it, love it, love it? All right, now here's there's something that you can do to make it look even popping out more. Watch this. So you can darken the background. Watch this. I'm going to darken in the background behind it. I think, you, I think you'll like this. I think you're going to like this a lot. Um, this is a little technique that I do. You can twist and turn your paper. I'm going to darken in the background. I'm going to make that, make the mama's face really pop out. Isn't that cute? And I'll go across. Look at this. You don't have to do this. This is just something, a little extra that you can do. And then you got to go around the hearts, which is going to be a little tricky. Look at that, isn't that fun? We're just doing a little bit of value. We're doing a nice dark value to put it behind. You see that? Do you love it? What do you think of that? Uh, hi, you guys. Hi, Isaac and Aaron um, from Wisconsin. And can you give her hair? Oh, you could have give her hair. That's a good idea. I didn't give her any hair. But you can go ahead, you give her hair. That's your awesome drawing. And there you go, isn't that, do you love that? All right, round the hearts here. There we go, there's, there's our drawing number one. And uh, now we're gonna move on. Now I use my stompy to kind of make it all smooth and dark around. <clears throat> kind of smooth in and make kind of neaten it up a little bit here. All right, good job, you guys. Oh, love it. All right, color pencils help too. That's wonderful. And let's go to square number two. Now this square, we're gonna use this, uh, our Imagination Station book. And this is, this book right here, um, Imagination Station book. I, I'm gonna go to page 109 of this book and I'm gonna show you some ideas. So this is, this is called Big Mama. This is big, the lesson of Big Mama Brontosaurus. And you can see how, you can see the, the lesson, the Big Mama lesson, isn't that cute? And then um, there's, there's another lesson. Uh, it's all with the dino. Ooh, look at the Stegosaurus. This would be a fun one. Look at this one right here. Look at the Stegosaurus. Let me lift this up out of the way. So you have the return to slobbery stegosaurus land. And I'll look at that. Isn't that, isn't that cute? Let me see here. Move this out of the way. So it's a fun book. It's a fun book to uh, get ideas. There's, there's many, many ideas for, for us to draw. All right, so I'm going to zoom in on this camera here. Oops, the other way. And let's draw. We're gonna draw Bronta Mama now, but she's gonna be coming. Uh, she's gonna be coming across the pond. All right. So here's Bronta Mama's face. There's Bronta Mama's face, and Bronta Mama. She's gonna be coming through. She 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 hears. She hears her uh, her eggs hatching. Her babies are hatching. They're hatching, and so she's she's racing home. She's racing home from the other side of the valley. She had hired an egg sitter, a babysitter, an egg sitter. She had hired 
um, you, you, you guys, she had hired, let me see. Uh, she had hired Roanne. She's 11 years old, super responsible. So she paid Roanne three dino dollars to watch the eggs. And so then they started to hatch. So Roanne called her. Oh, don't call me by my mama's name. Sorry about that. Lori says, so don't call me by my mom's name. All right. Uh, daughter of Lori. <laughs> I'll call you daughter of Lori. How's that? Now, don't go straight, but curve the bottom. Curve the bottom. Curve the bottom. Oh, okay, daughter of Lori. I'm glad you're using your mom's computer. I'm glad your mom's uh, making sure that you're safe on the internet. Now, watch. Put a dot here and a dot here. We're going to make mama... Mama Brontosaurus, uh, Rebecca. Hello, Rebecca. Good to see you. Now watch this. What we're going to do is we're going to draw a foreshortened circle of water. We're going to make her coming across the pond. So right now it kind of looks like, look at this. It kind of looks like a witch's hat, right? Witch's hat, dinosaur. Witch's hat, dinosaur. And what we're going to do, hey, Cameron from Missouri. Good to see you. Good to see you. Now watch this. I'm going to put a... Now, I used to have a hard time drawing water until I really studied how you know, a fellow named Chris Van Alsberg, he's the one who illustrated Polar Express and Jumanji and Two Bad Ants. Well, he did a book called The Mystery of Harris Burdock. And if you guys get a chance to get that book, boy, I recommend it. Chris Van Alsberg, The Mystery of Harris Burdock. Now watch this. From right here, we're going to go way out. The illustrations in that book are fantastic. The Mystery of Harris Burdock. It's a wonderful book. See, no. So I'm going to even write his name right here. If you guys want to get some a great, any great books of drawings, Chris Van Alsberg. Wonderful. And then my favorite of his, of course, Jumanji and Polar Express. But my favorite is The Mystery of Harris Burdock. I think it's, I'm not sure it's Burdick or Burdock. I'm not sure. Someone can look that up on Amazon for me. Maybe put the link in. Uh, it's amazing, amazing book of illustrations, Mystery of Harris. And I'm not sure. I'll, uh, uh, I'm gonna, is it Bur Burdock or Burdick? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Someone, uh, as soon as someone posts it, I'll finish that. The Mystery of Harris book. That's what I'll do. You, if you see it. All right, now. So here, I learned from looking at his book, he has this illustration of, of children tossing stones into a lake, and the stones skip across the water, and as they skip, they leave these wonderful foreshortened circles. And I saw how he did it. I thought, well, that is clever. So now watch this. I'm going to come out here one more time, put a dot here. I'm going to go way out, come back in close, see? And then this one goes off the paper. You see this? These water ripples. See that? These water ripples go off. Isn't that cool? Isn't that neat? So that's called foreshortening. So now I'm going to put mommy's eyes. There's the, the near eye. And the other eye is a small eye back here. Now, mom on the way, she was kind of hungry when she was coming across the lagoon. So I'm going to have mama. She took her head and went down and, and got a bunch of delicious muck. Uh, yum. Look at this. She got a bunch of delicious muck from the bottom of the pond. Yum, yum, yum. All kinds of delicious bugs and worms and delicious uh, plants and algae. Oh, yum, right? Yay. Yum for bugs. Someone type in yum. Can you talk about making mistakes? Well, absolutely. Hey, guys. The, the more mistakes you make, the better it is. You know why? I'm going to tell you why. The more mistakes you make, it means that you're trying hard and you're practicing. You don't have to worry about eraser. You can erase to clean up, but you don't have to be perfect. You de now, I've drawn this guy 10,000 times. I've drawn this guy 10,000 times. The important thing is that you keep on practicing drawing and, and make, make mistakes. The more mistakes you get, the better it is because that means you're getting better and better and practicing, practicing, practicing. I guarantee your drawings are going to get better and more 3D and more 3D. All right. So that you have to just admit my story about mistakes. Think about these, the strikeouts of baseball players. Those baseball players that have the biggest home run record I love this, this statistic. The 
people, the baseball players who have the biggest home run record also have the biggest strikeout record. They make strikeout after strikeout after strikeout. Okay, some of my drawings are complete strikeouts. Every not, not all the drawings that I that I draw right away look like this. I've drawn this a lot of times. That's right. Keep going no matter what. That's right, Rebecca. You gotta get a little team effort. Now watch this. The more mistakes you make, the closer you are to getting your skill improved better and better and better and better. Okay. So no matter what, don't rip up your drawing and go, don't freak out and go, ah, it's not perfect. Ah no freak out. No here, here's here's what I want you to remember. Here, stress is on the bus. So hold on here. I got a good little image for this. Where's my little, where's my little stress drawing? I don't have it. Just uh, someone type in the word beep beep. Someone type in the word beep beep. Here, see this bus right here. See stress is on the bus right there. See that? Someone, someone say, someone say bye bye stress. Bye bye. Forget about. It. Don't worry about making mistakes. That's important. Now here is uh, here's Nichelle. Nichelle, Nichelle's up here. I'm going to draw all these little Neanderthal children. You guys are these really cool, uh, fun-loving. Look at, this is back in, this is your entertainment back in the olden days. You used to slide down dinosaurs' back. That was your playground. So then here's Rebecca. So here's Rebecca right here. Follow me. Follow me, Nichelle. Follow me. Wee. And then here's, uh, uh, let's see. We need some more names here. Who else is on the back here? Who else is on the back? Here's here's Cameron. So Cameron's gonna be on the. Who, who's gonna be on the? Here's Cameron. Here's Cameron. He's sliding. Woo! Yeah! They're all sliding down the back. Uh, uh, Lynn says, "Tell him I make tons of mistakes." That's what Lynn's saying. Uh, I make mis. Keep trying. That's right, Lynn. Keep trying, you guys. Keep drawing. Doesn't have to be perfect. Now, give me some more uh, names. Ben, here's Ben. Ben, Ben hit a bump. Look at Ben caught some air. Whoa! Here's Ben. He, they're on the dinosaur playground. Woo wee! Woo wee! Now, when I make mistakes in the drawing, I turn them into a part of the drawing, just like my. Uh, a contemporary Bob Ross, he, his TV show and my TV show were on the same time in the 80s, and he and I uh, knew each other. We bumped into each other a lot at different public television conferences, and I really liked what he said about there's no accident. There are happy accidents, no mistakes. They're all happy accidents. I think this is Harry Mystery of Harry Burdick, I think. I think so. I'm not sure. It could be Burdock. Uh, yeah, there you go. Katie said, he, that's right. Uh, I, I want to have a whole book of my mistakes. So here's Ben. He caught some air. Woo, and I need another name. I need another name down here. Oh, uh, there it is, Richard. Thank you, Richard, for putting that link in there for the mystery of Harris Burdick. And uh, here's Amelia. Amelia's down in the water here. Here's Amelia. And she's going, come on in, guys. This is great. There's Amelia. Look at her hair is all wet. Again, she's waving. Hi, guys. Come on down. Woo. Now, way back here, let's put the horizon line, put the edge of the lagoon. And, oh, that's so great. Thank you, Lori. Yay, Lori's in the drawing. Aaron and Isaac. We got to put, uh, we got to put Aaron and Isaac in here, too. So here, Aaron. Aaron caught some air too. Look at whoa! Look at Aaron. He's 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 done. he's about to land. Look at he's like whoa! Here's Aaron. Look at they're they're about to go into the water and they're Isaac. Isaac's over here. Isaac's in the water already. Isaac's looking at his brother going hey, woo! He's gonna go over his head. You got to be careful. Don't want to hit him because then it'll hurt your neck. Whoa! Now the, the light the sun's coming from over here. So let's shade the side. You guys having fun? This is our hour of pencil power. Ooh, someone type that in the, in the, um, someone type that in the comment box. Our hour of pencil power. We have 53 on YouTube. That means we usually have about three people per 
log in. So that was, we have about, uh, let's see, about 150 on YouTube. How many participants do we have on Facebook? Can someone type in how many participants do we have drawing with us on Facebook? I love, I love to find out. Thank you. Uh, Katie Shalupa De Jong for typing Hour of Pencil Power. All right, let's move to our logo. It's time for our logo right there. Now, the logo is going to be, I, I think you're going to like this logo. I'm going to have the logo. The logo here's our logo. And then I'm going to have one dinosaur's face coming out here. Look at this. This is going to be one, one dinosaur. And then I'm going to have another dinosaur's face looking out over on this side. And then I'm going to look at this dinosaur. This dinosaur is really looking up here. Look at this. I'm going to have all these dinosaur faces looking around here. I'm going to have three dinosaur faces for our logo. Okay. And they're going to be saying, this is our hour of pencil power. Woo. This is our hour of pencil power. Woo. Are you guys having fun drawing with me today? Well, I want to thank you guys for drawing with me. And if you want to support my efforts to keep these hour webcasts going with me and my team, please consider making a, a contribution to my GoFundMe at Mark Kissler's GoFundMe. If you guys are valuing these hours, these hours of pencil power, it, uh, it takes a lot of time and effort for all of my team, and we appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. But if you can... Uh, Help us with a contribution figure. A buck a lesson would be wonderful. You know, some people are putting in $5 for the contribution. Some people are putting in more. Thank you so much for that. Also, if you guys want to uh, support us, you can sign your family up for my Mark Kistler Draw 3 dcom This is a wonderful membership. We've been doing this for 15 years, 13, 15 years. That's somewhere around there. 50,000 members, hundreds of lessons, hundreds of hours of drawing with me. Here's a 75% <laughs> ah, that, thank you Lori. Um 75% off code you guys right there. It's not $200 for a family for a year. It's $49 right now during this crisis during this time. It helps support us, helps us keep our webcast going, our business doors open. So thank you so much. Thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can someone type in that uh uh, that oh, uh, Richard's on it. The seventy-five off co coupon code for Draw Three D, and we appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now I'm going to put um, these. Uh, now is anybody a member of Draw Three D out there? If you're already a member, you can use the code to extend your membership. And also tell me what you what you think about the Draw Three D membership. Maybe a little testimonial there in our text box to let people know that you love it and. It changed your life forever. So here we go. We're working on our our, our uh, logo here. We're, uh, we love having our hour of pencil power logo. And I'm going to clean that up and shade these guys here. See now, what I like to do right away when I'm doing the doing the overlapping here is I like to. Um, I put a little bit, a little tiny peekaboo eye there, and I like to put a dark shadow right away wherever it overlaps. You see, put a dark shadow. Now I'll put one layer of shading, and then I'll take my stompy and I'll blend it. See this? I'll put one layer first with my pencil. I'm keeping the light source coming from the top right. You see, and coming down. Do you guys love this? One through ten. What do you guys think? One through ten. Ten being fantastic. Thank you, Richard, for putting my Kistler 75 off coupon code. Now, that is valid uh, during these hour and pencil power, uh, the, these weeks we're doing this. So thank you, guys. Thank you, parents, for, for considering uh, signing up. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you very, very much. And thank you for your contributions to our GoFundMe page. All right, now down here, I'm going to put the words, our hour of pencil power. Now, I'm going to be posting a review post of all these these four drawings okay it'll it'll be a summary and i'll post it probably in, uh, try to get it right away after this within an hour and that's where i want you to in the comments section i want you to post pictures of you drawing your family drawing 
and we want to get, we're going to get all those together and put them into our newsletter and send it out to thousands to I think 25,000, 30,000 folks on our newsletter and then another 20 or 30,000 on our different social media platforms so I can make you guys uh, our inspirations, okay, for other kids and other families that are drawing. I'd love to see your pictures of what you're doing. So make a comment, post it, and we'll take it and put it up here. We have 60 people, 59 people on YouTube. How many do we have on Facebook, guys? How many do we have? Someone type in the number. How many people do we have on Facebook? I can't see the number, so I have to ask you guys. How many viewers do we have on Facebook? I'm very curious. Thank you, you 60, which means 180 participants on YouTube. I'm so happy to get you guys to draw. If What I want to do is hopefully we'll have over a million folks participate, a million uh, kids drawing for a little distraction from the the uh, news of the day, a little distraction, a little comfort, and also escape with your imagination into the world of joy of drawing. It's so cool. Our elixir of joy. Uh, aha, four people here, but only one counts. That's funny. So we're, we have 37 folks on Facebook. That's wonderful. Thanks. Our pencil power. So here you go. It's called the Mark Kistler's Kids Special. And we're ready for... Um, our third and fourth drawing. Now, Mario usually comes in here now, but he is Mark Kistler's Kids Special, and this is on GoFundMe. Thank you so much for your contributions. All right, buck a lesson, right? If you guys are valuing this, I appreciate it so much. All right, now let's, uh, uh, let's go to uh, score number three, and on this one, I wanna draw uh, a pterodactyl, a flying, I'm going to kind of slant this pterodactyl this way. See, I'm going to slant it going toward there. So I'm going to kind of turn my page a little bit like this. And I'm going to draw the, the pterodactyl's face. And then here's the pterodactyl's neck. And then the pterodactyl's body. And then I'm going to just kind of slightly, there's the pterodactyl's legs coming off of here. It's going to be really cool. The pterodactyl is going to be soaring, flying. Now, the pterodactyl's beak, watch this. He's going to be looking up toward that hour of pencil power. So I'm going to try to kind of have the beak going over this way. And then his eyes, you see, maybe I'll draw, maybe I'll draw the eyes overlapping like that. And then I'll kind of clean this up. Okay, so there's that. Do you know? Do you know why the ter pterodactyl has that really funky shape face? Anybody know why that the pterodactyl's beak? I'm gonna have this pterodactyl's beak come right here in front. Kind of comes in front here. See? Does anybody know why the pterodactyl's beak is shaped like that? Anybody know? Because uh, well, some some of the paleontologists. Some of the paleontologists believe that it was a um, uh, defense mechanism, right? Uh, for the predators didn't know which way the pterodactyl was looking. So it's kind of like the same idea of like young uh, cheetahs and panthers and um, tigers. They have spots on the back of their neck so that the predators think they're looking at them. A lot of predators don't attack if you're looking at them. And that's one school of thought. Another school of thought was that some paleontologist, scientists that study dinosaurs, it would keep the dinosaur balanced. Well, if that was true, then look at even uh, hummingbirds would have it, right? And, and uh, robins would have it and pelicans would have it. So I don't think it's quite, um, uh, I don't think it's quite the balance. Well, I can tell you one word. Do you want to know why I'm smarter than all the paleontologists? You know why? I can tell you one word. It's because of... When we say one word, you ready? Fashion. It's because of fashion. Look at that. Is that because it looks so cool? Isn't that fun? That's but that's why I bet that's why I'm I'm that's my philosophy. That's my um that's my hypothesis. Now right here, I'm gonna curve the wing out, and look at this. I'm gonna curve this wing out here. 
Isn't this fun, you guys? I, and if you go off the end of the paper, it's okay. It's wonderful. Now from right here, watch this. I'm gonna, from about right top of the leg, I'm gonna curve from here. I'm gonna curve this, and then from the top of the leg, I'm gonna curve it out. So there's our, ter it's gonna be zooming, huh? The pterodactyl. Now, here's her eyelashes. She is Terry the pterodactyl, and she's, she's a very, very famous uh, uh, test pilot, and you can tell that she's going high altitude because she has these high altitude test pilot, uh, these yoga pants. These help keep the pressure so she won't pass out from the high altitude. So she's a high altitude test pilot. And she also, she's a, uh, uh, a designer. She designed these, these cool pilot socks to keep her little toes warm when she's flying. So there's her sock. She's she's really a Renaissance woman because look at, she's she's a t uh, test pilot. She's a sock designer. She's also a volunteer f firefighter in Missoula, Montana. So here's her suspenders here. Isn't that cool? Isn't that awesome? There's her suspenders. Really, really cool. And she's... Uh, She's a, a champion. She's a champion Olympic swimmer. So here's her swimsuit. She's a champion Olympic swimmer. She likes to swim the butterfly. That's I was supposed to uh, try out for the Olympics way back when I was in college, but the uh, that was during the Olympic boycott. We had some political issues going on. So, but I used to love swimming butterfly. So here she is. This is Terry. And there's Terry, and then there's Terry, high altitude test pilot yoga pants. She's a firefighter, Missoula, Montana, Olympic swimmer. She has a very famous belly button all over the world. And then over here, then over here, watch this. Uh, she's also, check this out, she is a engineer, and she designed the first turbocharged pterodactyl uplift booster rockets. So she has these rockets here. See that? Isn't that cool? So she's a high altitude test pilot, sock designer, Olympic swimmer, a volunteer firefighter, and she engineered, she helped design these really cool rocket thruster up here. See that? Look at that. Well, these socks are very much very Disney-ish. So my my uh, drawing teacher was a Disney artist for many, many years, and he showed me how to draw the uh, uh, s socks like the uh, Snow White and the, and the Seven Little People and uh, Mickey Mouse and Goofy Socks. They all had sock shoes. Now, now uh, not only is she a high-altitude test pilot, sock designer, Olympic swimmer, uh, Missoula firefighter, uh, smoke jumper, engineer, engineer designing um, the, she also invented Cheerio power. So it's a lot less pollution. So she's, look at it. She invented Cheerio power. And now check this out. This total Renaissance pterodactyl. Check this out. She's also, check this out. She also has her own cooking show on the Food Network. And she cooks, she, she has her own show. It's called Baking Croissants with Terry. And she loves croissants. And so she has her egg whisk here. She always carries her egg whisk. And on in, in her pocket over here, she carries her spatula. She has a little spatula. So she's so she is a high altitude test pilot, sock designer, Olympic swimmer, a Missoula firefighter, smoke jumper, food channel celebrity cooking chef, engineer, inventing turbo power, Cheerio power, awesome. Now, one last thing, you can't forget that she, over here, she always carries her chopsticks because she's a huge sushi enthusiast. And on her knee, she has a little wasabi collection. And over here, she has her little low sodium soy sauce. So there you go. Do you guys love it? Do you guys love it? Now she's just flying. She's taking off. Now you can put down here, look at, you can put a, like she's flying, the, put her clouds here. I'm going to put two rows. Look at, I'm going to put two rows of her clouds. Look at this clouds going off and little, little one over here. 
little one over there. Now watch how I'm going to make her really taken off. I'm going to put a shadow in that area behind the cloud here. Okay. And so there's the adventure of Terry the Pterodactyl. Can someone type in that whole sentence? She's a high altitude test pilot, Olympic swimmer, Missoula smoke jumper, firefighter, volunteer, cooking show celebrity, sushi enthusiast, engineer, turbo rocket designer, and Cheerio power promoter. How's that? Wow. That was cool. All right, let's put some shadow on the side. Let's put some tone. Let's tone in her wings. Definitely tone in that... Uh, that back cloud there and that cloud did you guys love that one? Oh, there's robert hey robert newstead how are you robert newstead if you guys if you guys enjoyed the uh tv show the imagination station well he's he's the fellow who helped me co-create it and of course when i want to show show it i don't have my imagination station little card there do you, anybody know what I'm talking about when I say the Imagination Station? I'm going to see if I can find it here. It was a TV show we did back in the 1980s. And, uh, sorry, Robert, I don't have my card with me here. Well, and I thought I was so organized today. Let me see if it's over in this pile. I have all these little piles going. Nope. All right, I'll try to find it later. But thank you, Robert, for helping me co-create the Imagination Station. A wonderful, it's also on Amazon Prime. You guys get a chance to see it. And look at this, I'm not giving up. I'm still looking for it here. I'll give you a few seconds. Well, hey, look it, you can see my books. I'll, there's my drawing and 3D book. You can order these books any, if you want from your fa favorite retailer. There's drawing 3D. There's drawing in 30 minutes. This helped me go through all my books here. Now, remember, if you guys want me to do a uh, live school webcast, I'm offering these right here, these school webcasts free. I'll go on an hour for your school and get a private YouTube link for all the kids in your school. Usually it's $2,000. I'll do it for free. Send me an email. And uh, here's my my email address is mark at markkisser.com, my website. Follow me on Instagram, please, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Awesome. Uh, just just to remind you guys, I'm working on this book right now. If you want to pre-order it, you go to my website. You can pre-order it. It's so exciting. Let's draw our last drawing. We have uh, about, what do we have? About 11 minutes here. Help you put onto paper what's in your mind. Hey, you know, you remember the you remember the Imagination Station song? Get on the paper. Oh, I found it. I found it. Here it is. The Imagination Station logo. Now, look how young I was. This is how I look now, a little older here. Look at uh, NASA put that up in their mission control. It's really cool. But um, I, I shaved my beard the other day, so I don't have a beard right now. I'm, I'm like baby face. But uh, now that shows on Amazon Prime if you want to check it out. Look at look at Angie, a rocket ship, a pair of shoes, a shooting star and some kangaroos. Uh, the words and lyrics by... Uh, um, uh, oh my goodness, he's a wonderful, wonderful uh, lyricist. I'll, I'll remember his name. I, my mind's drawing a blank. He's a Grammy award-winning uh, musician. Robert, help me. Help me with our name of our musician who wrote that song for us. Help me, help me. It's not, it's not Rex Grignon. Rex Grignon was the, is the animator. Oh, there it is. Uh, imagination. Thank you. All right, last square. We're going to draw a Tyrannosaurus Rex. I'm gonna just put put a big T Rex here. So you guys ready for the for this guy? Rah! Put a big T Rex here. And uh, now this is tapering. I'm blocking it. I'm shaping. I'm blocking. I'm gonna put T Rex's eyes right here. There's the near eye. The other eye is overlapping back behind here. Now I'm gonna give this guy. Now watch what I'm gonna do with his eyes. I'm gonna draw uh, his eyebrow right here, and then I'm gonna draw the top of his eyelid coming up like that. See, I'm going to tuck it underneath there. Isn't that cool? So you can see that the eyes hidden inside there. Can you guys, can you hear, can, can you hear Mario's, uh, he's carpet cleaning. Home Depot gifted Mario a $200 
um, carpet shampoo or isn't that cool? They gave it, they gifted it to him because they saw Mighty Mario's GoFundMe, uh, his his uh, dream is uh, getting all this equipment from Home Depot. He's raising his own money for it. And they were so impressed with him, they gifted him a sham carpet shampooer. Isn't that cool? So I'm gonna have, this guy looks cranky. Look, he's looking up at these guys. Look at that, he's like a little edgy. I'll tell you why he's cranky. The T-Rexes are chronically cranky, and I'll tell you why in a second. It's part of the story. So here's T-Rex. And there's, see what he did? There's the eyebrow coming over the top. Now watch, this is really cool. Make it dark right inside here. Hey, how many of you are gonna uh, post your pictures on uh, in the comment section of my Facebook review post? How many are you gonna do that? In about an hour, I'll make a Facebook post with this these drawings on it. How many, is anybody gonna do? Oh, thank you, Diane, for putting Mario's GoFundMe. All right, Katie, you posting your drawings every day? Oh, that's so cool. We still have 57 people on Facebook. How many do we have on uh, YouTube here? Thank you. So that means we have 160 people on YouTube. We have about three people per viewer. That's so neat to know that we have that many. How many on Facebook are drawing with us? How many are on Facebook? So I'm going to kind of poof his lip out. Comes down, see it making like a box here. See it comes down lower right there. See that it comes a little bit lower. Now watch this. I'm gonna make a, we have 40 on Facebook. That's what, 38. So we what do we do? We times it by three. So it's 120 people average on. That's wonderful. That is so cool. So about 300 between the two platforms. I'm so pleased you guys are drawing with me. That's just fantastic. Thank you, thank you for taking part of your day and joining us. Now, I'm gonna draw this near tooth here. See that, draw, hey! Oh my gosh, I just got a membership for Draw 3D. Thank you guys. Thank you for signing up for the 75% off. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you guys want a membership with 500 lessons, a couple hundred hours of me drawing, go to draw3d.com. Thank you guys for that membership. I sure appreciate it. 75% off right there. For, go for it. And uh, thank you. Thank you for your contributions to help me keep these hours, hour of pencil power going. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. So now look at the near tooth is overlapping. Now watch this. I'm going to draw this just chin. I'm going to change it a bit. Look at that. See, I changed it. I want the, I want the back tooth. See what I'm doing here? I'm going to make this tooth in front. See, that's overlapping. Here's some wrinkles. Some I love the, the, the crazy, cracky, wrink, craggly wrinkles here. Now watch. This back tooth is still it's going to go uphill, following the drawing directions, going up and northwest. Now watch this. This tooth is a little bit smaller. See that? This tooth, isn't that fun how that tucks behind the chin here? And, that, and then you have the, this crazy kind of lumpy. And put some wrinkles, some contour lines. Maybe I'll put a few little teeth on here. Just a few more little teeth. Isn't that fun? He does. He needs braces. I had braces. I had braces for, from when I was in fifth grade till I was a s sophomore in high school. Can you believe that? Can you imagine that? Gnarly. It was a... Uh, here. Dark hair. Come all the way down the side. Dark here. Put the shading. All right, that's looking cool, you guys. You made me start thinking when I had braces. I used to take the bus uh, cross, like four different buses to get to my orthodontist appointment. All right, here we go. Coming across here now. I'll, let's put a few nostrils. Let's put some small, delicate nostrils. Look at this. Look at look at how big these nostrils are. Look. Let's put some small, delicate nostrils on here. Here, draw. Oh, look at we got someone. Uh, uh, our local someone liked my post about Mario uh, about the Home Depot gifting Mario the the carpet shampoo. Now this this nostril is smaller. It's more foreshortened as it goes. 
So this nostril is larger, it's closer to you. The nostril's on the left side, so remember the, th the law of thickness. Let's write that down. The law of thickness, we're using that again. The law of thickness, that's, that's a, a, a term, that's an idea that I use a lot in my You Can Draw in 30 Seconds book. It's really good. This is, I'm so excited about this. It's coming out, it's coming out soon. You can pre-order it at markkistler.com if you want. And now look at the window is on the left side. So watch this, go up here. See that? Do that now. The windows on the left, the nostrils on the left side. So put the thickness on the left side. And then I'm going to darken the inside here. So there's that wonderful contrast, like we did at the first time. So this is winding up our drawing. Our hour. We are at 56 minutes. Wow, we really have it timed down for our four drawings. Can anybody hear Mario out there shampooing? Can you hear it? Yeah, remember that law of thickness. Audrey and Avery, remember that law of thickness, that's right. I'm gonna use my Stompy to blend it. To give it a little, look at this is like my paint palette in there now. Our hour of pencil power is coming to an end. Wow, I, I did it without my phone, without plugging in the power, wow. I didn't even realize that. I should have plugged it in the power, but I'll, I'll, I'll just let it run here. That, that, that's what, one time, that's how I lost YouTube the last time, wasn't it? I'm going to plug it in. I'm going to, I'm not even going to take, going to risk it. I'm going to plug in the power. Here we go. Beep. I plugged in the power. So I'm not going to draw a little, look at, he has, now here's why he's cranky right here. Here's why he's cranky. Ready? Because look at, he has these little tiny, little tiny hands here. See? He has his little tiny hands. And you know what he's doing? And he can't, his nose is itching and he can't reach his nose. And that's why he's always cranky. He has big nose, nostrils, huge eyes and big teeth and rah, big skull and tiny little hands. Little, tiny little hands. I'm glad you love drawing. I love drawing too. Well, there you go, guys. I'll sign it. We'll put a date on it. Our date today, and I don't have, uh, someone tell me the date. I don't have, my my phone is busy here. What is the date? April 9th. All right, so it's 4-9-2020. And I thank you for drawing our hour of pencil power. Let me give you a full shot of the whole thing. You know what I want to do? I'm going to do one more thing here. I, I'm gonna since we're talking about contrast behind here, let's let's put a let's let's darken this all in back here. Darken that in back here. Now sometimes when I'm when I'm drawing like that, I don't want to smear my drawing, so I'll put a shield here. So I see I put my hand on the shield, and that way I won't smear it because I want to keep all these drawings looking cool. Hey, if you guys, if you guys, is anybody out there interested in uh, another way to support us, if you guys want to purchase these drawings that I'm actually creating, it's really cool. It's uh, I donate them to my nonprofit, and then we we sell them through my nonprofit. So if you go, if you go to the uh, Mark Kistler's Imagination Initiative, you go to draw3d.com. You go to draw3d.com here. Uh, I mean, go go to markkistler.com. Click nonprofit. You'll go to this site right here, and you you can click donate. And all these drawings are are up there available. You guys can get them uh, if you want to get the original. And again, thank you for any kind of support. I, we appreciate it so much. I can't even tell you. Here, make it dark back here. Oh, thank you, Amanda. She likes our video here. All right, so I'll take my Stompy just to smooth that area up a bit. Give this guy a little more value down here. All right, well, there we go. Let's look at that. There's our full scene there. And then let me pull out so that the um, YouTube or the Facebook folks can see the whole pictures. What do you guys think? Do you love it? Kind of get that out of the way. Let's see if we can. You guys love it? Thank you guys for drawing with me. For our hour of pencil power, I uh, I loved it. 
Hope you guys had fun too. Thank you, thank you, thank you for drawing with me. Thank you for uh, you, Richard, and for Diane for helping me out in the website. Uh, for in the, as my room monitors here, I'll tell Mario say goodbye. And Diane Kelly, thank you for your help. Robert Newstead, Red Grammar is the name. Red Grammar was the fellow's name who did the music. Thank you, Red Grammar. All right, guys, that was an hour. Wow, time for lunch. Uh, have a great day. I love you. Stay safe. Be super patient with each other. And I'll see you tomorrow at noon for our hour of pencil power. Bye, everybody.